Memorial Day in my hometown, which is Cumberland, Maryland, um, is a day when the whole town remembers loved ones. I can picture my brother now in the backyard of our home in Cumberland cutting the peonies and getting ready or to have someone take him to the cemetery uh, to put flowers on all of the graves of our family members. Um, and so it's kind of appropriate, I think, that we come this afternoon uh, for a little bit of time perhaps to remember, to remember uh, those people in our lives who have been our teachers, uh, people perhaps whom, when they were with us, were not free to love us as they might have, and now are in a much freer place and are loving us and are caring for us. And perhaps we too um, were not able to appreciate the lessons that they offered us through their time when they were here with us. Uh, but it certainly has been a blessing for me. Memorial Day in our country is also a day when we remember uh, those people who have died in battle. And I always like to think of them of people who died with courage. How true that is, I don't know. That's my own need. But I do know that I come from the experience of being with many people in an AIDS hospice for the homeless whom I think have died with courage. Um, our hospice is such that people are picked up from the streets, taken to a hospital, and uh, then brought to us if their diagnosis at that time is terminal. Oftentimes with loving community, and study medication, they begin to get better. And then they're faced with the streets. So they have the choice of either walking courageously into that next part of their lives, back out into the streets, or for some it is walking courageously into their dying, a different kind of dying. And that has been extremely important for me. I think probably that has shaped my life right now and my understandings of life more than anything else. Although if you were to ask me um, how it shaped my life or what I believe now that I didn't believe before, I couldn't answer you. I just know it's a deep part of me. All of us then, really in a sense, I guess we could say we're hospice patients. Life offers us a little bit of palliative care, <laughs> a little bit of protection from the deep pain of life, uh, but we're hospice patients.